Throwing now, Taylor on first down. So he's going to take a shot right away. He's got a man complete. They give him a gain of 38. That's a big time pitch and catch right there. Partner, I remember the days when quarterbacks would try this. They were holding their breath. But nowadays, they're counting on their receiver to be just a little bit better than the defensive back. When it's Notice that that could be a really, really frequent combination. Going up top. And this is caught. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Jarvis Landry, 33 yards. And the Browns have taken the early lead. Personally for him, a great opening drive. He had three catches, including the touchdown. That felt like tremendous scouting, great film watching, and creating a game plan to start this off, not only to get him involved, but to send a message to the defense. You can have a lot to handle in this one. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. Landry brushes him off. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Baker Mayfield, obviously, the number one pick overall. That was controversial, though. What ultimately made the Browns go in his way? Well, post-draft, I did hear a Browns executive talk about the efficacy of Baker Mayfield. In other words, how people rally to him, how people respond to him. He talked about seeing him at a workout, how he should tip the balance in his favor to go number one. Mayfield, he's going to air one out. This is caught, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Jarvis Landry with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Browns were able to cash in for six. Still first quarter, two receiving touchdowns for him. How are they going to slow him down? I think they're thinking about altering their game plan. Whatever they came in with, now maybe you switch a better cover guy to him. Or you make sure you have more people in his general area. When you, I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Sideline throw, that's caught by Landry. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So the defense blitzed. A nice job picking that up, completing the pass. And how in sync was the quarterback in his center on that play? They saw the blitz, made the appropriate calls, got the line engaged because now they know they're going to be extra guys. Same well, like they've had trouble six. containing him, but able to contain him on that play. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And that's going to be caught for a Browns touchdown. Jarvis Landry doing it again with his third touchdown here in the opening corner. And the Browns have moved down in front. Well, Brandon, if we go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator, he showed us his script. Didn't show us everything now. He said, here's the script for the game. I think everything's going according to plan in a big way. Three drives, three touchdowns. Yeah, that's about as good as that is as good as you can do, I guess. Him all day long with all the targets trying to go after him. He's obviously gotten smart and his pride has kicked in. Made a great play. And all this has taken him one-handed. What a catch. A good play there is the Browns strike for 16 and a first down. What a catch and one-handed. And I'm starting to lose my awe about the play. And maybe I shouldn't. As in the NFL, the competition committee, some other places, they're talking about examining those gloves to see if they're having too much of Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. It's a big play there for the Browns. 54 yards. Well, it's one thing to grab it with one hand, but when you make a catch of that distance, quite another. Yes, sir. I mean, that one right there, we keep talking about the high-flying antics that we're seeing from receivers nowadays, doesn't matter what spot they start in, but when it actually... Mayfield with it once more. And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. Jarvis Landry on his way to a historic performance. Four first-half touchdowns. And the Browns have moved down in front. And remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly. That three touchdown passes. Media may be firing up a little bit right now. Oh, the, the coach is trending right now. Right? <laughs> There's no doubt about it. People wondering what that decision was. But it takes me back. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Jarvis.
Jarvis Landry, 32 yards. And the Browns add on to their lead. So whatever happened to rookie quarterbacks taking time to adjust to life in the NFL? Because this guy looks like he's been doing it for about, what, seven years? Four touchdown passes? That's not something rookies are supposed to be doing with the ease in which he's doing it. They need a few more plays like that in order to get their confidence fully back. But that's one step in the proper direction. Going deep here for Lane. That's caught inside the 20. A big play there just before halftime. 48 yards. Now his offense tie game. We'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are. This is caught at the 20. A big play that time for Cleveland. 49 yards. Tell the truth, partner. You didn't think he was coming down with that one, did you? Come on, tell me the truth. <laughs> no, I did. I'll tell you what, though. A one-handed grab of that length. Talk about giving your team a little juice. Oh, big time. I mean, everyone's going to burst in 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Here's Mayfield, and he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. The Browns passing game finding its stride. They've got another first down. And passing yardage-wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. If it was a momentum play lost, and now there could be a letdown. And it's going to be caught for a Browns touchdown. Jarvis Landry, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Browns have moved out in front. Brandon, remind me again, this is a rookie quarterback we're seeing? A rookie indeed. I mean, because my eyes are telling me something. I'm having trouble. In prime position going the other way. Now Mayfield. And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. Jarvis Landry, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Browns had six to their lead. I don't even know what to say anymore. I mean, I've lost track of how many times he's been in the end zone. This is just flat unbelievable. Doesn't matter whether you have an abacus, a calculator, just old-fashioned pencil and paper trying to total it up. The number is staggering. What a performance. This man knows how to find the end zone and make it count. Second and 10. Mayfield off the play fake. He'll rifle this one deep right. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. It's a big play there for the Browns. 41 yards. We saw him hit a big play there. In Cleveland. It's the Browns football, and they've got the lead here as we start quarter number four. Mayfield now. He's going to look deep now for Landry. Jarvis Landry, 37 yards. And the Browns add on to their lead. And that was really just a great battle for that football on both sides. The result is a touchdown. Ordinarily, I'd like to say it was a win-win, but it really wasn't because the defender, while he was there with excellent coverage, he didn't get the benefit, did he? But he's not going to get chewed up in film session, will No, he? he was right there. They'll tell him, okay, of course you need to knock the ball away, but they won't be too upset. No, I